haven't already, you've got the Oxygen Room, which is fantastic, and the Observatory, including the Great Equatorial Telescope, built in 1895. Um, Glenwich is no longer a working observatory. Uh, that work is now done mainly at Jodrell Bank. But it's a great place of history, and I hope you do enjoy the history. And if you've got any questions after this, I know all eyes are on the time ball, I'd be happy to, to answer them and give you some tips about what to see. Um, all eyes now are waiting on the time ball. It will come down, if it's got this far, it never gets stuck. They could be famous last words, we'll see how it goes. Um, when you've taken your pictures, I will explain that you're also members of an exclusive club. But let's wait and see. Okay? The eyes of the world now are on the ball. Uh, people locally, I live locally, still use this if they want to set their clock. So it does have some limited uses, but the ships have long gone. And even if they were here, uh, global positioning satellites mean it's just uh, a feature. There actually are other time balls. In its heyday, there are over 200 time balls across the world linked to the range uh, signal uh, in places like South Africa and so on. And that was in 1908. But then, obviously, wireless telephony came in and there were no longer. The remaining time balls was one in Melbourne, there's one in Dover, and there's also the one at Top the Gun, which serves the same purpose in Edinburgh. So there's still some tradition and some history behind it, but it's not necessarily pushing it. Thank you very much. If you want to know...